I'm speaking with Dr. Alan Jones at the Society for Academic Emergency Medicine, who just gave some information updating the 2008 Surviving Sepsis Campaign. Doctor, what are the big changes? Well, the 2012 guidelines have not been published yet, but uh, I think the big changes that can be expected are that there's going to be an emphasis uh, for fluid therapy on crystalloid and then adjunctive use of albumin now and uh, recommendation against the use of hydroxyethyl starches. Um, another big change is going to be the first line recommendation of norepinephrine uh, and dopamine kind of has been relegated to a, a relatively lesser um, place in uh, the guidelines. So th I think that the, the guidelines this year will, or in 2012, will make a big case that these are guidelines and these represent best practices rather than standard of care and that the resources at various hospitals and institutions vary and that clinicians should not be held to these guidelines as standard of care but rather these are the best practices that we can glean from evidence-based medicine. I think that we have seen um, and will continue to see guidelines being trying to be used uh, in medical malpractice litigation however I think that this campaign writing group has made big strides in trying to um, really underline the fact that these are just best practices and should not, clinicians should not be held to these as the standards by which they have to practice. I think one thing you will not see is, uh, is biomarkers for diagnosis. They're still in the emphasis phases of uh, attempting to figure out how they can or should be used, so that is uh, largely out. I believe they've been submitted and the publication hopefully will be in the fall or early winter of 2012. This is Patrice Wenling, Society of Academic Medicine with IMG Medical News.